couple servers because I've already shared it shared one stream today. <laughs> I don't need to be like, hey yeah, no, I'm streaming all day. <laughs> that would be funny. I mean, that's pretty much what I feel like doing most of because it's like I didn't really stream yesterday. I got tired. <laughs> So wait, what are you streaming? Um, what remains of Edith Finch. It's kind of one of those, like, you know, like, um, Miss, Little Misfortune and Pinstripe, kind of those games where it's not like, it's not really about the gameplay. Like, not necessarily, like, the mechanics, it's more like a story. And I like the story ones every once in a while. I guess that's what I think it is. kind of redoing the lighting right here. Okay. Uh, play. Oh, I felt like I was drunk. I was at this thing was about to sink, but it was just that. Okay. <laughs> okay, come on, what are you? Okay, this, this is weird. This way. Like, it, like it, you know that the thing in your brain like it right. so oh, to much it. with the with the game that it actually feels like it's the, the action's happening and you're like nope 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 yeah that was crazy <laughs> hello I'm yeah, I have temporal what a lot of this isn't going to make sense no I have temporal and I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning. <laughs> What's wrong, Yale? I'm not wrong. Am I wrong? So I'm playing this game now. I'm gonna take that as it is. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't um, in half the rooms. And I built a devil head with a hidden door. Okay, this is weird. This is like a, only a couple <laughs> You're stealing coon cheese! <laughs> no. Alright. Billy, I'm streaming. Open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis is here. Oh. There we go. In her will, my mother left me a key that didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Wait, you can go up and defend her. What do you want? Hold on, I'm gonna, I, I wanna go explore. What are you playing? Um, it's a game called What Remains of Edith Finch. I've never played it, but it's kind of like, you know the games like Little Misfortune and Pinstripe, kind of more like story based? The truth is... Hey, Gary agrees with me, Yoda. I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Hey man, you have to be able to take a joke. Oh yeah, I can take The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. What's the mmm? I'm allowed to say something. I'm gonna turn Billy down a bit. Hey! Only because I can hear you really well. <laughs> what? What? Well, why is Yilda so cranky? Is that 
I'm cranky. And what's wrong? <laughs> but like never said, do. This baby does Yilda need his bottle? <laughs> Calm down, you guys, please. Hey, I'm just trolling. He's the one moody. Enough the two of you. No. Let's see. What does that say? Milton Finch. If you have information, yeah, you know right? please call oh, I know. Bland Poli Island Police Department. Okay. Okay, so it kind of brings you back here anyway. I just took the long way around. <laughs> I put a sign in front of the hidden door saying, There's no hidden door here, go away. In this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. All roads. Jamie always monitors this chat, so he'd know to. Why does he monitor this chat? Because he's bored. Doesn't he have other things to do? Not really. No. His wife's probably hating him right now, though. <laughs> he got her pregnant. And in full term, <laughs> during, during the time when it was cold, now it's warm. Yeah. Mm. Any woman will tell you being pregnant during summer sucks. <laughs> it is the worst. <laughs> I need a couple of houses in Minecraft. Okay, so... This is just kind of a... too much fun this didn't do. <laughs> the house was exactly like I remember. Okay. The way I've been dreaming about it. This is a weird-ass house. This is like, Hello Neighbor house. But this not is not a horror game. As a mom, it has a driveway, I'll give you that. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. What are you doing, Azara? I'm building a mushroom house now. On the other side of the tracks, <laughs> across from the dead pool now, house. As a 17 year old, I knew you exactly build a mushroom what those words were. I He's going to build a castle and put a princess in it. Yes. <laughs> then you should trap Kyber inside of it and light it on fire. <laughs> and also, you guys, it must be not... Don't worry, I'll forget it before the night's over. Hey. <laughs> what now? I'm basically saying is that you should not park your mission. Well, it shouldn't be public information. I'm gonna tell you guys on it. You can DM me it if you want. I'll answer it. I like this game already. It's very sensory. Trust me, I'm good with secrets. I'd rather get rid of it after she's got a screen. Oh, this is so cool. I love this one, the wind chimes. I like the wind. What? I heard something moving around in the garage. I don't blab people's secrets. Except for under one condition. Who is that? No, I was saying. No, I was just saying. Well, the, reason, the only reason I would blab someone's secret when they stab me in the back. And all the secrets become public knowledge. I see it. Okay. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a oh, lot easier when I was 11. Bullshit. What's all over in here? 
Well, your secrets are boring. The new codes aren't important. <laughs> I don't have the new codes exactly. I just have the key to access the new codes. There's a difference. Damien has the new codes. The power had been turned off no the night we left. For the Surprise. first time in years. I have said enough. That reminds me. I felt like I was home. How much was this game? But instead of a family, like there were just a family. Hi, Black Samurai. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me to hydrate. <sighs> this is a pretty game. So are you okay or not? I'm teaching. Okay, both of you, please. If you guys are gonna argue or fight, please can you take it somewhere the fuck else? Thank you. I will eat well, you. I don't give a fuck. Looks like my cousin, uh, my uh, uncle is gonna be in the hospital a while. In recovery. Um, I'm sorry about that. Hey, what is this thing you call an argument? I just call it trolling. Enough. Trust me, Paige. I won't fight. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of That's eating salmon. That's a one Except slider. our cat, Molly. <laughs> yeah, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. The one restaurant that would deliver to the house all the way up here. In memory of Lewis Finch. <laughs> 1988 to 2010. Beloved brother to Edith, son of Don, great grandson to Eddie. Why did he die? I don't know. Apparently he died. But he was young. Well, not young, young. Silly. Nothing like, in the house looked abnormal. There was 22? just too much of it. A like a smile, to too many teeth. Young. Hey, did you get cold water today? Huh? Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. My younger brother keeps his promise. It's really cool if you don't that game. <laughs> there are little birds everywhere. <laughs> so what's everyone else doing? I'm on my baby. The table was still a wreck <laughs> from the night we left. You're always on Minecraft, man. <laughs> He's crafting the mind. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine. It was like a bomb had gone off, night. killing everyone but sparing the future. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Oh no, she doesn't know what happened. That's never a good sign. No, like, it. They're a part of the story. I don't okay, know first, the... I need to section off. Of area. Um, Did the game go to Kinda, slightly. It like some of the dialogue, one piece of dialogue got caught off by another, and I'm like, what? <laughs> what just happened? I don't remember. Okay. I think I'll be going now. Okay. As you do. Billy. Oh, yeah, the Simpsons thing when the game fucks up. <laughs> okay. I would like, what? like, a little shelf like this that's kind of built into the house. One day. Oh, look at all these bookshelves. I will eventually probably need one. Like that. Oh, there's a violin, a cello. But no, but no violas, that sucks. 
By the After way, Mountain disappeared. Violas are mm-hmm. sealed up all the time. If you think violins are hard to play, violas are then a Edie bitch. retaliated and drilled people. Mm, try playing a hurdy gurdy. Try playing a hopsicle. <laughs> Have you? What do you think I said? I've only played a player that's been Molly, 1937 to 1947. And no, I didn't sound like a girl. Molly always seemed like a girl. In the I beginning of it, you sounded like Squidward. If yeah. she hadn't died in 1947. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait. Each person got their own. That's weird. So, this house is like each person got their own room in like the family. But if they died, they the room didn't just get repurposed, it just stayed their room. That's weird. That's cultish. Kinda. Cause we have hmm. Molly, nineteen thirty seven to nineteen forty seven, she died. That'd have to be some big ass house, by the way. Didn't you see did you see the outside? I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Look at how, like, detailed this is. What the hell? Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Lou, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. That was a good book. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Milton... Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Well, I'd be not too mad at me either. But I had no idea what was behind that door. I don't know, I'm at a door. Okay. It's not necessarily Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. That easily offended. Oh, I just don't want to upset you. Because you're my buddy. Oh. What, well, I don't want to upset my buddy. Those are ashes. All I got on my body. I grew up looking at Molly's room. (laughs) Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. I'm your friend, yeah. Well, she died in 1947, so all this furniture is like from then. That's interesting. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. There we go. Molly well, I just, I just, uh, December 15, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around Friday for something to eat. Oh, I'm in Molly's vision. Oh. A little fish. We call, I'm trying to have about, Wes's cannon team. About. I thought about eating Christopher, I only know it's four of them off. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. You were gonna eat your goldfish? That's <laughs> strange. You're like 10. Yeah, they're not very nutritious. I kept eating and eating. We have giant goldfish. Yeah, that's not much of a shock there. She ate toothpaste. <laughs> okay. 
That's not good. <laughs> You're not meant to really, um... Eat. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart! It's late. Hey, you wanna look at the size of a goldfish in Australia? Check coins out. The, they must have been some sort of, had some sort of money because, like, each bedroom almost, um... I like how look at the size like, of the goldfish. Like, has a bathroom in it. I ate a lot of things that night. No, you're mm -hmm. not supposed to eat those. I think I know how she died. <laughs> you're the big fishy. Mm -hmm. hmm? The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. You okay, buddy? She was hungry. I guess it all just... Um, My Halloween candy was all I'm gone. Some kind of out of it. Then I heard chirping mm -hmm. outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Big fishy. Oh no, that's not how... And suddenly... Hey, she's taller than you. I was a cat. Um, excuse me? <laughs> Suddenly I was a cat? Okay. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Ooh, you know, how, how's your channel analytics going, babe? I don't know. Like a pet attack, but I don't. Where's the cat? Where's the bird? Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. It's like, oh yeah, no, I ate, you know, all, like, mom, I was bad, so mom sent me to bed without supper, and then I was eating all the food, things I could find, and then I found a bird outside my window, and then suddenly I was a cat. I'm like, what the hell? That's a nasty trip. <laughs> well, she ate berries off Holly, and you're not supposed to, those are not... Meant for human consumption. Yeah, like I said, that's that's true. <laughs> so I I kind of think she uh, may have poisoned herself accidentally. <laughs> Let me sing to give you a drug trip, a good boy. But she was like ten, so she's a child. Are you meant to go back? I don't know. I've never played this. It's weird there. It is. Where am I supposed to go? Whatever, well, how's everyone's day been? Uh, I've been asleep most of it. Because of pain. Dreaming of potatoes. No, passed out from pain. There wasn't oh, a dream. Potatoes. I had no dreams. Uh, but Spitfire's always in the dream. No, it's just a giant blank page. What? A giant blank page. Uh huh. Not, not as in Titania, <laughs> but as a blank page in a book. Right. Gotcha. Hesiah knows better than to insult me, so you're, you're reaching there, buddy. <laughs> I'm smart out, I can reach all I want. Anyway, we're, we're together, Paige, you'll be the one reaching. Uh, yeah, for a knife. <laughs> <laughs> the life of the wife is hid by the knife. Yeah. <laughs> how, was, uh, how was your day? Was good? I jumped and I almost got her.
I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up and then fell. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. What's up? What the fuck? What? Um. Now I'm an owl. I was a cat. <laughs> now I'm an owl. I. I'm rabbits. Um, I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my tongue. This is rather violent. <laughs> I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Yeah, this game and is then not I flew off to find something bigger. Um. Not PETA approved. A mama rabbit. Well, screw PETA. You're not even PETA approved. I'm trying to kill rabbits here. Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. This is awful. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. I was a shark. Um. What now? Um. Excuse me. <laughs> what? I'm hunting. Okay, now I'm a shark. Except there's what? No. Except there's <laughs> no... What is this acid trip? <laughs> so you're basically a. The character's actually a druid. You're shape shifting like crazy. Welcome to D and D. It's gonna get weird. What am I supposed to do? Anything oh. and everything, apparently. Okay, so I got stuck on a tree. Okay, now this works, maybe. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Okay, now, then. I was hungrier than ever. Um. Okay, so now I got the outer shell of the house done. Okay, so apparently I'm either a snake or the kraken. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I've watched enough hentai to know where this is going. Are you sure? I was big, but I moved real quiet. Yes! Ah! Oh shit! What do I do? <laughs> I, I committed a murder! Stop, but also, 
I did it. I'm fine, Chef. <laughs> And suddenly, that was me again. What I crap? The only crap here is your mind. But I couldn't <laughs> hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be. And we both know I will be delicious. What? <laughs> I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I'm lost. Where? Okay, uh, close the door. The game. Her game? I don't know who read this game, but that was taking a lot of something. <laughs> <laughs> Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Okay, what's the name of it? That's cool. It's called What Lies it? What Remains I can't describe of the I felt like some part of Molly was still here. It was like she died. But I don't know how she died. All, all we know is suddenly she died. This will be obvious later, but... My mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Thank you, Alec. Is that your TV? I haven't turned down, so I I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Each animal has a memorial. Her burpee Bob <laughs> Whatever that one's name is. 
derpy. Interesting. <laughs> Built 1937. Sven Finch. Edie won't go. 70 year old, two year old woman refuses to evacuate just because of a little forest fire. Okay! <laughs> One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. <laughs> She's like, fuck it, nope. <laughs> My house. <laughs> 90th birthday. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. He was an architect. That's why their house is the way it is. He built oh. it. Uh, tragedy strikes the Finch family. Celebration turns to mourning. Oh, that's sad. When is this dated? I can't. I can't see when this is dated. Sven, where is it? Oh, we don't know. That's sad. Bloody builds, that's why their house is where it is. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. What? Edith Jr. What? Oh, she is Edith. Her great grandmother was Edie. Oh, Edith. Almost like a museum. Odin Smith Finch. Joining the great majority. Weird. Death. And the mysteries of death and their ass after. And this is the mod. That's interesting. Sven, Edie. Each of the doors were painted. Um, this is a travesty. Nope, I'm out. You don't carpet bathrooms, I'm out. <laughs> it looks Pretty like the only trace of his first wife K left on the house was the big bathroom. <laughs> oh, it was a pretty bad. big trace. Hello, man. What is this room? Okay. Mount Rainier National Park. Okay, so this is like in Washington somewhere, I think. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Okay. You like to paint. Louis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Mm. Odin. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Wait, is this? Where in the hell is this? Real news. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. They were trying to transport the house. Oh, never mind. They were never. Why would you just leave? Fuck this. Okay. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first Orcas to be buried Island. in the family cemetery. 
His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Work, 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 work. Sean, Edie. Okay, what else is in this room that I need to look at? Before it'll let me leave. Oh, secret. There's a secret in the bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. That's funny. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Although I do like that I have to actually move the mouse in the direction that it needs to go. That's actually cool. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Kelvin Finch. April 25th, 1950. Died September 23rd, 1951. Okay. Milton. Hey, yo, this way. I'm almost close enough to be able to afford PS5. Fort Kelvin. No. He must have been much older than Fort Sam. Oh, he was into photography. Well, I almost have enough money to hold PS4. I knew Grandpa so Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Are you not excited about that? I am. Yeah. I'm too. I guess really my grandpa today, didn't like man. history any more than my mom did. Um, no, oh, that was 19. Goodness. Okay, he was only 11. That's sad. You can cut all my ears if you want. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Sam! Calvin! Dinner's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alex, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made up his mind to fly, and he did. I think I heard it. 
jardín, a ver. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh, there we go. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Seattle Starlets. Happy birthday, Barbara. Oh, that's fine. Like each room is just kind of left in the state that it's in. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it. The surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that... Was a great screen. Okay, so the wire has stayer and signal is done. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be interior. rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother Walter. At least four worms. Her convention Living room and three bedrooms. <laughs> oh, make it five. Okay, I'm hearing frustration. But I'm not hearing terror. Bedrooms. What if I tried? A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas oh, Island tonight. Okay. Police are urging residents to. That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding. Until finally, the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. This is like... She reached for the music box. 
and as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Okay, then. She found Rick's oh. clutch and imagined the worst. Just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? Nope. <laughs> and she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Okay, cool. So we're back in this thing. This is like... Okay. Describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> She heard was. Oh dear. 
Surprise! Bravo! You were wonderful. We love you. The monsters had come to surprise her. From Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. That's creepy. <laughs> she had That's creepy. Let's fun. just not. But unfortunately, <laughs> so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Uh, that's what I call a real eerie tale. I'm gonna. <laughs> nope, 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 I'm not. We're not into this. <laughs> we're not into this. 1944 to. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. So you just try and figure out how they died? Is that it? Basically, yeah, like, try to figure out what happened. Because, like, I guess the main character's mother didn't care. Like, didn't want to remember the history. And it seems like this family's kind of, um, cursed. Well, based on what I've read, um, the game's storyline is based on a series of short poems. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Okay. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Calvin and Sam. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and As never kid, found the music Every key. house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Gregory, 76 to 77. Molly. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Hey, Billy, I am both scared and wanting to fight heretic Shara Ishvalda. Mm. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Hello? Yeah. Okay. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Well, Milton was gone. Her brother Lewis was... died suddenly. Why is it so dark? I don't think it's a horror game. No, it's a murder mystery. Technically, I don't know.
But yeah, basically the whole whole thing is a self-discovery as to why she's the last Finch alive. Yeah. That's the basic summary. Mom said the well. basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. I'm here. <laughs> Sven would cut these out for his wife and his wife would paint them. <laughs> I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. So the, the company behind Robert it has died, two games in it. as he could. Mm -hmm. uh, it remains of Edith Finch and the unfinished swan. Interesting. If there's a pattern in all these stories. Yeah, they're based in LA. Interesting. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of a door starts to feel normal, almost friendly. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. Why is he in here? Why is this place made like a freaking bunker, I swear? <laughs> well, do you want to go to the mushroom I built? <laughs> okay. Tomatoes. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara and Molly and Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Yeah, I'll guard. come check out the house. What is Let the switch. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it. Especially the food. So, come down here, I'm going to show you. I don't mind if I only have a year left. So, going in this direction, I'm putting one of the bedrooms. 
I'm gonna put a little divider here and set up another already doorway. The sun. Another hole. Back seven over two. And I'm gonna do the opposite on the other side there. And there's gonna be another bedroom Leo. over here. Walter died when I was six. That's what my plan is. I can't is believe so my far. mom never told me he was down here. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. He was down here shutting himself away. So he shut himself away because he didn't want to die. Because everyone else was dying around him. So he said, fuck it, I'm just going to not leave. <laughs> Unfortunately, he did leave and then was promptly hit by a train. <laughs> Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> hmm. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. at the house had that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it mm -hmm. what kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house it's embarrassing for me to admit this but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one three of the gerbils are mine and two had been my fault Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Edie. 
Calvin. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. side was always easier for me to understand. Mm. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. December 19th, 1977. That's like a year. I mean, one year <laughs> almost two years of life. Damn. I'm just doing that temporarily so I can finish building the stand thing. Not be distracted. What family has a cemetery? Like, never mind. They <laughs> <laughs> had a family. Da 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 da. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. <laughs> I get why she tried so hard to protect us. The monsters? I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. But looking back on it now... If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Oh. Oh no. What? She's like, she's like, if my mom had told me there was going to be so much climbing, I wouldn't have come here when I was 22 pre weeks pregnant. I'm like, you shouldn't be climbing, lady. <laughs> <laughs> you should be not doing this shit. Stop it. <laughs> I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Oh, oh, yeah. You're pregnant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I never actually took a look down at my, my char the character, and I'm like, yeah, nope. <laughs> Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Look at these models. He was well decorated. Yeah.
I really saw that. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Not quite. Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Don. Then we can take off. Weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Please just take Please the damn picture. Smile, hey, thing. language. First one, what kind of thing to be issued? Smiled with. on. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Hmm. Definitely should. Hey. <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. What? Good eyes, I'm Don. Taking, yeah. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. Great shot, Don! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally still... normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! it. Oh. I think I heard out how he died. How'd he die? Uh, he kind of got of all these knocked stories, off the edge of a that's cliff the one by I wish a still most alive deer told me. that he <laughs> thought was dead. Um. <laughs> just, things seem to happen. It's just kind of like, oh yeah, you know that thing that that's fine? Like, Molly died because she ate something she shouldn't have and kind of tripped the fuck out. <laughs> um, Barbara died. I think she was murdered. Calvin died by trying to do something he shouldn't have. <laughs> Isn't that most human beings? Walter died by getting hit by a freaking train after deciding train. to leave his his little bunker area. And Odin died by sinking with the house he was trying to get on over from freaking Norway. Airline <laughs> ticket. Okay. 
done. One, two, three, four, five, six. The meals are MREs. Got a ton of those, okay. <laughs> After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. Yeah, that's the only one who started. They both lost a lot. I think this is down. the saddest of this. This one's the saddest. It seems like every time it's like only one. There's only one surviving member of each generation. This is sad. This is the nursery then. The worst contract, Sam Finch. Okay, Carlisle. Lawsuit has been filed against you. You have 20 calendar days before this. Awesome. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. <laughs> What's going on, Paige? Sweetie. Hello? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. I wonder what he saw. What his world was like. So much of a <laughs> mind of a child lost in his imagination. <laughs> Whatever it was, he saw. <laughs> I like that. It sure made him happy.
That Gregory, I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night, damn it. Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... 1969 A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, 
We don't need a stepmom or the words that I, I now would. pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss and cry. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign held up his middle finger. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. <laughs> the thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. Or do you try to fight nature? Good job. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Okay, so the door to that room is done. Mm. Kind of At the time, the it was as far away as she could get. I don't know how happy I would be being forced to live in the house in which my family died. Fly to India. June 8, 1987. Copy passport. Her volunteer center. Meet up with. Relieve Rap. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Mm -hmm. 
Lewis was born a year later. All right, the sign to the issue room is done. Now it's going to go and fill it in. When my dad died, I don't think Mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see the kids in the house again. Milton. <laughs> Edith. So I try to use a block of the house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. Does. Bad idea. And for a while, you have to use the good. dust. Almost normal. Yeah. Hmm. But it didn't last. Their mother was the. Yeah. They were homeschooled. That's interesting. Oh, the beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Much to paint. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. <sighs> Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Feel about Mom definitely pregnant lady walking Edie, along a rickety thing. I think Lewis blamed God, himself. No. After he graduated, <laughs> lady, you're stupid. Time in his room <laughs> until Mom got him a job Lewis at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room, except Lewis.
And this is an interesting freaking house. I swear, it reminds me of the freaking Winchester Mystery House. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Wonder. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. And something moved. <laughs> Bats and toads. Things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something He's checking it's still around. But there go man. Yeah, I'm sorry. I worried about him then. Oh look out. Daydreaming at the cannery. Hey, I want it. I spoke with his boss, but he said Lewis had become a model employee, methodical, tireless, focused, like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. I don't like where this is going. 
Where's he going? On the edge of a city he named Lewis Hope. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. He was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Did he all just start wearing the music? He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. All the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. Okay. Generally daydreaming with heavy machinery is not a good idea. It became a game for him. <laughs> I can tell you that. But like every step of his imagination. Conquer a city, then immediately push the on. Guillotine. That's cutting off the fish out of the New Lewis here. Don't I don't know if I like what's gonna happen. <laughs> St. Louis. St. Louis, lol. <laughs> he started drifting away from our reality. <laughs> what? This oldest is like daydreaming and named it Town St. Louis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Lol. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing off. He forgot to leave the cannery one day. He just kept working. That's weird. He's just kind of in his own. Mind. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a. So he probably worked for such a day. Good daydream. Handsome queen. The queen was on her own quest for... Radiant rainbows. Radiant rainbows. Followed the sound of her. Electric sitar. Electric sitar. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. He was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. I don't... The 
For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. He was building up him, all that swirl to But the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one Please. climbing the steps of a golden Please. palace. He's in his own imagination. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. He's having difficulties figuring out which one's real. Yeah. He's so in his imagination, he's having difficulties telling the real world from his imagination. He began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. I still thought I could save him. Um. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. On advising Your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. He just was. He just was kind of lost in his own world. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. Kind of a little apartment. 
my mom ended up leaving everything behind. To teach to learn and to learn Don Pitch. So she was an author too. Each person is successful in their own right, but something always happens. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Edith. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. Oh. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning, okay? Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. All right, the history room is done. I got turned around. Come on, come over and check it out. For a while, I wandered. Seeing things. Oh, that's all I'm gonna do for now. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. Yeah. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, 
a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure well, what to tell you about all this. The way the, um, well, if we lived was, forever, maybe we'd have time to understand the things. I saw the main one. But as it is, I think the best we can do so is try to open our eyes. Mind. I appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. I think I'm being born. But I guess if you're reading this now... <laughs> <laughs> Things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. tell you how each person died but you can kind of gather
Edith's mother died due to a sickness. And then you can only gather that Edith died due to um, childbirth. <laughs> Doesn't always happen, but it's still a thing that happens. people that worked on this. Obviously you've already finished the game. Mm-hmm. a very quick game. Two hours. Sorry, no. It's fine, man. You do you. Huh? Well, this is very sad. I might be able to do a third room, but it's going to be dead center. <laughs> All I know in this family, things just seem to happen, leaving only really one surviving like of each generation, there's surely only one surviving. Okay then. So the switches, one has to be, if you're wanting, depending on what side you're coming in, the other side has to be set to the down position. Interesting game. I don't know. Molly's for freaking that. I was like, you. I know exactly what happened. She ate berries she wasn't supposed to. She got high, and then she decided she was doing all those things. <laughs> to this game? I don't think so. Alright. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!